The Ram Truck Workshop is on the move, and today we're setting up shop inside for a project that's all about saving some Benjamins. Today, I'm gonna show you with a few basic tools how to build something that goes for a lot of money in some of the top design stores. It's a picture ledge. We're gonna put it right up on the wall and we're gonna get all this artwork off of this table to display it a little nicer. Now, I heard you say the word basic, but I see a lot of tools and supplies over there. We've got a good amount of supplies and tools on hand, but everything here is not overwhelming. Sean's decided to go with an eight foot picture ledge. So he gets out two pieces of one by four and one piece of one by two. But you can customize your wood size to fit your project needs. In fact, most stores will cut the wood for you right on site. This is primed lumber. Okay. So it did come primed from the lumber yard, but you can buy any type of wood. Besides the wood, we'll need the following to build the picture ledge. Clamps, a drill and bits, wood screws, a pencil, gloves, a tape measure, and wood filler. We're gonna have a board that runs perpendicular on the back, and then in the front, we're gonna have a lip. And this is the shape of our ledge. We'll work on the back ledge first, which is the one by four piece of wood. Once we're certain that the wood is lined up evenly, it's time to get clamping. Okay, Ryan, so now it's time to start drilling, and I have two different drills here. This isn't a powerful drill, and nor do we need a powerful drill, but we do need the right bits on here. Yeah, I noticed okay? that is an unusual bit on that drill. So this is actually a countersink, okay? And yep. this is gonna allow us to put holes into the wood before we drill a pilot hole so that we can fill it with wood putty later on so we can conceal our holes. Sean uses a pencil to mark where we'll screw these two boards together. Then he gets to work drilling with the countersink bit. So if you come over here, Ryan, you see what the countersink is doing. Yep. It's just boring out a little hole for the screw head to fit inside. Now that I've seen the master do it, it's time for me to try. Make sure you get the drill in there nice and level and go slow at first. After the countersink holes are made, we drill our pilot holes, which will help keep the wood from snapping. Then we use wood screws to put this bad boy together. Okay, Ryan, go ahead and get the piece of one by two that we put off to the side. So it's time to put on the front lip of this ledge. It's more of the same. We're basically just attaching the lip on with screws. So let's get it clamped down so we get it nice and straight. So for the front lip, we wanna make sure that that countersink is used correctly so there's enough room for that screw head to sit inside the hole that we make. Because this is the side that everybody's gonna see on the wall. Yeah. We're gonna use less holes in the front because there's not gonna be any weight on the front, it's just a decorative piece that we wanna make sure sticks in place. After our countersink holes are created, Sean quickly makes a pilot hole in each. Then it's time for me to screw this picture ledge together. Okay, Ryan, since you're a rookie, I wanna give you a little trick that I've learned when using wood screws. Something that can help prevent wood from cracking is using a little dish soap on the screw. I thought you were trying to tell me I stunk or something. This bottle of soap would not be enough <laughs> to clean you. There you go. Nice job. And just wipe the soap away. We finished screwing the boards together, and voila, we've got ourselves a picture ledge. But we've also got some unsightly holes that need some filling. So we've got the plastic wood here. I have a white color. Go ahead and put that glove on. I'm just gonna stick my finger in the wood fill, and I'm simply going to fill the hole up. Now, how long does this wood filler take to dry? We're gonna let that dry for about an hour. We're gonna sand it down. We may have to apply a little bit more, but that's okay. 